Hello, it's Kelly and Renee, 50 and 5th Wheelin, and we just wanted to share with you this awesome partnership that we get to be part of. It's Keystone RV Company and Dragonfly. They um, are partnering with us and providing us with two new lithium ion batteries. Today's the day. We're going to start the transformation out with the old, in with the new. But in preparation for this, we're going to make sure all of our power is shut off on the inside, including our ACs. So we're going to shut off our ACs here, shut off all the power. We got the bedroom, we got the main living room, and then we're going to check the garage. Make sure it's off. All of our big appliances, our washer dryer is disconnected. What about hot water heater? Hot water heater, we could shut that off just to be on the safe side. Off. TVs are all off, disconnected. We're going to go outside and switch off our short, disconnect our short power. And then we're going to disconnect the 12 volts uh, with the, the key, the, the switch itself. Let's go outside. Here we are. We're going to disconnect or actually shut off the 50 amp service. 50 amp is off. And just to be safe, I'm going to disconnect it from the RV itself. Lay that down. And now I'm going to turn the, the battery disconnect to the off position and that's where the key will come out and here is where we house our three batteries again we got three lead acid batteries we're going to upgrade to lithium ion batteries and we're going to install two and we're still going to have more power than the three that, that we currently have okay all you need to do uh, or have as far as tools is either a 14 millimeter wrench or a 9 16 wrench and since we currently have three batteries and we're going to go to two we're going to have to remove the bottom battery first and then the jumper wires that go from the negative battery post here up to here as well as the positive one that goes from the positive post to up here we're going to remove and completely discard no longer will need the third wires here so we're going to do that first and again, it's very important that you don't touch any metal with your wrenches. You want to start with a negative terminal first. Disconnect it. That's this one. Here's the positive. I'm going to remove it. And again, like I said, we no longer, since we're going to two batteries, need the negative cable and the positive cable going from the third battery to the second battery. This one up here just has a simple wing nut that you could just remove. And now you have this cable here, no longer need. And this one is actually a half inch term, uh, wrench. We're gonna have to go get a half inch wrench. And start with the negative side of the battery. Remove that. Again, be very careful when you're removing the positive that you do not touch the wrench on any metal components. That's very important. Components of the battery or the camper or? Either, both. Okay. Here's the other cable that we can discard. Won't need that one anymore. We're going to pull out this battery just to be safe. The bottom one. Hold this. Yeah. Got the bottom one here. They're a little heavy, aren't they? They are very heavy. Moving the negative first on the last battery. different angle of this battery here. Maybe this is the way we need to do it. There we go. Okay. Get these two over here. Let 
You only carefully, again, make sure your terminals, when you remove it, especially the positive, does not come in contact with any metal. It's just tight right there. I'm just zip tying these three together so I know that they go to the top battery. Just so those are out of the way mm -hmm. when you install the battery. The surfaces before I install the new batteries and I actually use this washing wax. So we got our batteries installed. Now what we're gonna do is start with the lower battery here and we're gonna put on the positive terminal first, positive to positive. With the positive is the red, negative is black. Positive is the plus, negative the black is the minus number. So we're gonna hook these two up here first. Tighten these up and then you want to come back and double check it with a torque wrench. Tighten the bolts, the nut and bolts, between 9 and 11 foot-pounds of torque. Then we got to hook up our negative wire or our tire link monitor. a built-in heater and then a toggle switch which is interesting they say if the internal temperature and that's one bad thing about lead acid it freezes you can't charge it right you have an internal battery there's a wire that goes from here to the post in the winter time so when it has it has an internal computer when it gets below 35 degrees internally it kicks the heater on and one final visual check making sure that all the red wires are connected to the positive side, the black wires to the negative side. None of the wires are touching one another. Everything is nice and secure. All the bolts have been double checked to proper torque level between nine and 11 foot pounds of torque. So next, we're gonna turn on the power in reverse order. Come over here, turn on the battery disconnect switch. So now we'll have power throughout the entire coach. And we know it's on because you can't pull out the key. We'll go hook up the shore power. Refrigerator kicked on, that's a good sign. Plug in the power kick cord. Nice and secure. And we come to the 50 amp breaker panel. Turn on the breaker. And just double check that we have three green lights out with the old in with the new.